there everybody. I'm Terry P. I'm a permanent makeup artist and this is about part three of a lecture talk discussion that I would like to present on permanent makeup. It's also known as micropigmentation. It's also known as cosmetic tattooing. So the subject that I want to carry over today from our last discussion which was part one and part two of um, permanent makeup is the a lip procedure. Lip liner. We do a shaded lip liner and we do full lip pigmentation. Now, that being said, it is uh, not that easy of a job to really get that pigment in the lips. And the reason being is that the lip tissue is very, very different than your facial tissue, and especially the tissue on, on the eyebrow and the eyeliner. Uh, the lips are particularly difficult because lips are an actual muscle. So you're really having to drive that pigment into the lip, let it heal over, and then come back in four to six weeks. We do it again, and sometimes we even do it a third time to really get the pigment in the lips. The problem with the lip procedure, if there is a problem, um, I think the trade-off is pretty fantastic since you don't have to really worry about your lipstick, your lip liner shifting, smearing, feathering up the wrinkles in your, in your mouth. Um, it can be a very natural look as well. But the problem, if there is one, is that lips lighten faster than any other tattooed area on the body. Uh, the reason being is we've got a lot of turnover of cells there, we've got a lot of dehydration, and we've also just got a different kind of tissue that we're now, trying to Now, that tattoo. being said, my next question that I always get is, you know, am I a candidate for permanent lipstick? Because guess what? Not everybody is a good candidate for permanent lipstick lip liner, lip shading, and lipstick. The reason is that you have skin undertones. You've got your overtone and you've got your undertone. Your overtone would be uh, how tan are you. That belies what your undertone is. So let's say you are Italian, you are Greek, you are Spanish, you are East Indian, you are African American. Um, all of these skin tones are not always desirable for permanent lip liner. And the reason that I say that is because if you really look at the center of your lip, here, you're going to find that some lips are a little bit more blue-purple, which means that that's going to pull every pigment into a blue-purple range. So when someone tells you, oh, absolutely, I can do any, any ethnic lip, that's actually I am not a very true. conservative permanent makeup artist. I would never do anything to endanger someone. So oftentimes I will do a consultation and steer my clients away from the lip procedure knowing that if I do implant a certain color, it could turn blue, it could turn black, it could turn a mauvey gray down the road, which are none of those are desirable. There is a test, a litmus test, if you will, of um, Fitzpatrick skin tones. So there's a Fitzpatrick 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Most of the time a Fitzpatrick 4 and 5 are never good candidates for lip procedures. However, Fitzpatrick 1 to 3 are awesome for this lip procedure. In fact, I just saw a client of mine yesterday for a touch-up on her eyebrows, and I did her lips 18 months ago, and they still look so beautiful. She had nothing on at all and they were just as clear and crisp as the day that we finished doing them. So I was very, very happy about that. You can get a really beautiful the lip liner. It's really liner. no big deal. We get very little swelling. Um, it looks beautiful when you put a little gloss over your lips. It's, it's actually really, really pretty. And most of the time I find that my clients think they want full lips when really what we're trying to do is restore the natural definition of the lip. So that really is the prettiest procedure is the shaded lip liner because what happens to what we call the vermilion border which is that ridge right before it turns into facial tissue. We're trying to define that border because oftentimes with age we get a loss of pigment through that border. So we actually get a loss of lip definition. So oftentimes we don't really need a lot of color through the mouth um, and a shaded lip liner is enough. So I hope you've learned something about lips today. Um, as I've said, it is an advanced 
procedure. Uh, someone has to have a lot of training. They also have to know a lot about color theory. Don't just let anyone touch your face, please. Um, I have seen everything from black lips to blue lips to gray lips, and they are very, very difficult to color correct once that color has been uh, permanently implanted. That being said, there isn't anything I can do for black lips. There's just nothing I can do, and I've seen it happen more often than not. Also, when someone tattoos out of the vermilion border onto the facial tissue, what's going to happen is that pigment is going to pull darker on your facial tissue and lighten on your lips. So sometimes women looks like, look like they have a halo around their lip of color. That is something that is not done in permanent makeup. We cannot take permanent makeup and augment your lips larger than your actual vermilion border. So anyone who says they can go outside of the vermilion border, I would steer clear from them. Now, there are beautiful fillers that you can do once you've got your lip line established with permanent makeup. So I always like to work on the lips prior to them being filled. It doesn't mean I can't work on them after they've been filled. I just really like to get to them when you've got your virgin natural lip line so I really know how to correct it and then whoever's doing the fillers would then follow my lead. Um, as I said, not saying that I can't do it after you've had fillers. I can, but it's just a little trickier. So, I hope you've learned something about lip liner, shaded lip liner, and the full lip procedure. And if you have any questions, please comment below. I hope you subscribe to my channel. Um, and if you have any questions about permanent makeup and you're in the Tampa Bay area, please give me a call. Um, my website is on my channel page. Take care, you guys. See you soon. Bye-bye.